Hi there. Like too much Christmas pud and the Queen's speech, Christmas time wouldn't be complete without a celebrity extra news bulletin. The mother of pop music, Madonna, is releasing a limited edition book especially for her fans of rare and unseen photographs and classic quotes. The book is entitled Nobody Knows Me, and with it containing only a mere 52 pages, it's still just as unlikely that anybody ever will. One of the more unusual tracks to be released during this silly season is by the funny guy covered in fur. No, we're not talking about Robin Williams, we're referring to retro favourite Basil Brush. I like so many different styles of music to do. Uh, I mean, I'm very much into hip-hop. Uh, yes, my grandmother had hip-hop, and uh, that influenced me from very early age. Uh, then, of course, garage. I'm as partial to a garage and an MCP as an Xbox. <laughs> oh, and, of course, heavy rock. Yes, I use that to stop me dusting lid blowing away. Ah, the old ones are still the old ones. The pop idols may be singing Happy Christmas War is Over, but a full-scale battle is raging between the lead singer of the White Stripe and the Von Bondes. We can only imagine what the argument was about, but bearing in mind that the White Stripe's last single reached a whopping number 23 in the charts, and the Von Bondes have yet to have a hit over here, it was hardly who's the most popular in the UK now, was it? Here's an exclusive look at the follow-up to Spider-Man, ingeniously entitled Spider-Man 2. Fasten your seatbelts. It was reported that Tobey Maguire's role as the wily web-slinger was in jeopardy when he suffered from severe back pain and a broken arm during filming. Presumably that was after he crawled into the bath and someone walloped him with a rolled-up copy of Woman's Own. It's been reported that American beauty actress Mina Savari has signed to appear in six episodes of the quirky drama Six Feet Under. Mina is currently starring as a drug addict in Spun, has just finished filming Trauma, about a man who wakes from a coma to find his wife has been killed in a car crash, and is now set to star in the award-winning funeral-based drama. No wonder the poor girl looks depressed. Well, that's it for now, but I'll see you soon for more of the very latest entertainment news. Happy Christmas!